What's up, everyone? <laughs> we are in uh, my family cemetery again. It's only 8 o'clock at night, even though it looks like midnight. I'm going to do a connect to a deceased loved one before I head home for the night. Um, let's see where to start. Let's start with some feelings. Sacred oracle. I didn't plan any of this. The big beautiful blood moon is right above me and it's so draining this time. I've been tired and out of it all day. Just kept trying to power through it, but I just feel it's also a lunar eclipse, so there's a disturbance in the forest, if you will. Cut the cords of doubt and the distraction of shiny things. I don't want you to be focused on 3D based stuff like money is nice but it doesn't make you happy. There's people that have it all and still are not happy. Happiness comes from within. So stop doubting that one you're worthy of it, that you can obtain it. It's like you're you're in a a, a lack mentality. I don't know if you feel like you don't deserve it. The spirit is calling you out a little bit. Maybe you're focused too much on image or body type or a certain kind of lifestyle and you're not you're not allowing your feelings to show you the way. There's something superficial that they want you to shake off. I'm not sure if it's you. It could be someone else in your life being superficial towards you. They could be warning you. Let's get some more. Tell me more about Cut the Cord of Doubt. <sighs> this moon, you're draining my energy. Ever since I did the last reading, like, it's 8 o'clock at night. I'm gonna go home after this. Like, it's Saturday night. <laughs> I'm just like, man, I just like getting my PJs, watching a movie, and going to sleep. Fill your cup up with sacred giggles. Yeah, so you're in like a negative, either you're being negative about something um, that you're trying to do or you just feel like a lack mentality and they want you to shake it off and start laughing and having fun and getting out more and stop dwelling on things that make you sad or put you in a lack place. You doubt yourself so much, they're saying. Any car movement over there? Let's see who's over there. Lindy, Greg, J. Will. Oh. I think it might be a deer. It's hunting season. You're smart to stay close to the house. It's a little deer. Wow, why are you being so tight-lipped? Inflow with money. So something, if you're worried about money... Okay, I kind of get where this is going. Like, you want the finer things, or you want a good quality of life. You want to be able to provide something, whether it's for yourself or a family. I don't know yet. But you're doubting that you'll ever be back on track, or, or that you'll ever you know, be able to obtain what you need to and you will. This could be um, inheritance from this person. This could be winning the lottery. This could be getting a promotion. Um, just money is being pulled to you in this time. They're helping you um, financially or they're trying to at least if you're struggling finan financially. Lead your metamorphosis in reverse. They want you to take charge on transforming and going after things. Stop living in doubt and letting it rule you and stop you from making moves and making decisions. Limitations inspire innovation. So you're obviously facing some kind of adversity in your life and the spirit is like, we all get limitations and limitations about anything in life. There's always something that you come up against. 
that you're going to have to face. Whether it's an adversary, whether it's a complication, what, whatever it is, eventually you're going to get controversy and trouble and you got to see your way through it. And they're saying don't let this limit you to the point of like, you're just so demoralized already. You haven't even tried and you're, you're talking yourself out of it. They're like, trust yourself that you have what it takes to figure it out. And get yourself through it. Listen to that intuition. We have fierce serenity in reverse. So this is like being strong moral character. I think they're recognizing that you're not being yourself here. Or you're making decisions that you don't really want to make. Going on here, spirit. Only those in the light. The sacred flow of yes in reverse. You're not saying yes to something. You're not saying yes, this is what I want, or yes, this is what I need. Like you need to start saying yes. You're so afraid of change here. Uh, Of jumping all over the place, spirit. Lock it in a little bit. What do they, your loved one, need to know? Collaboration of souls. So, if this is like a partnership, they don't see you uh, collaborating or putting effort in, or that person isn't putting effort into you, or this is them recognizing you're not in the partnership that you want. It could be with the yes in reverse. You said yes to the wrong one. Could be that too. And we have prosperity, sisters, or happiness and joy in reverse. They're telling you in order to get through this, you got to start on the inside and work on yourself and believe in yourself. Pump yourself up. Be a cheerleader. No more living in lack and doubting yourself and doubting your self-worth. By raising your vibrations, you're pulling those manifestations to you. That money that you need. The stability you need. So if you want to overcome this, it's time to change your attitude. The Spirit is saying you're having a bit of a crappy attitude with yourself and they want you to change it. Hey, we all get in that. We all get depressed. We all get upset. We all get hurt. We all get in our ego. They're just saying enough now. Change the channel. <laughs> We have befriend the word polarize in reverse. Um, I think you need time alone. I think you need rest or you need time to make a decision. You could This could be they feel you're being pressured or you're not taking the time you need to rest, not getting enough rest. Um, this could be them recognizing that you want to go your own way and haven't. Like you're dragging your feet here. Bliss is worth creating from, for, from. <laughs> so, I, I do see you creating something or at least thinking about it. Or this could be futuristic because with this heart, this is a love choice. <sighs> I don't know why I'm hearing ushers. want to leave the one I'm with song. I don't know what it's called. Want to start a new relationship with you. Thinking about something. The lyrics are escaping me, but you could want to leave another relationship or this could be um, wanting to leave a job or a career choice. Maybe even a school choice. For some of your students out there, you might not be happy with the school choice you made. Welcome the Divine Masculine in Reverse. You're not, this is like you not being an emperor. You're not standing in your power. You're cowering. The spirit's like, why? All right, let's see what's going on with this quantum oracle. and see if they can tell us some more. Okay, spirit with your loved ones. What advice do they need? What messages do you have at this time? For the full moon. deserving. You are deserving. You are worthy of things. You are a good person. And I think you're wondering if, if you have a love choice, you're wondering if they'll see you as someone deserving 
Um, if they'll accept an offer, I think that's a yes. But this is also talking about you do deserve your your happiness and your dreams. Don't let things, places, people, even yourself stop you. Yep, we got increase. Increase those vibrations to pull in those manifestations. Get out of this lack mentality. Beating yourself up so that the road can clear and you can move forward with confidence. Yeah, it's time to take some steps. And perhaps you are, um, but your steps are a bit small because you're still... Um, scared they're like take a bigger step or take that step all together depending on what your situation is peace they want you like to me they want you to be happy and content and zen and not stressed out like genuinely all around at peace with your life and where you're at and have contentment and stability. This is what they want. They're also referencing that they are at peace. They are not suffering. They're not an earthbound spirit. They have crossed over. New supportive connections. Um, on the other side, they have met up with friends, loved ones, family, ancestors they didn't know um, that are now stepping forward to help you. Um, and they're up there bringing supportive and connections into your supportive people and connections into your life that can help you get that fulfillment that they want for you. They're trying to get the ball rolling a little bit, or trying to motivate you to roll that ball the vast universe like you have unlimited potential they believe in you so much and there's more than just this earth there is another side um, I think you need to open up more spiritually they just want you to have something to believe in because that gets you through life it doesn't matter to them what that thing is they just want you to find a tool that's going to give you faith and encouragement in these trying times now and in the future. Yeah, professional assistance. Okay, so you might be getting that job. You might be um, going to grad school. You might be getting the promotion. But I think either this could be a collaboration and work as well. Or this is professional assistance like counseling, helping you figure out your pain and work through things. This could have been someone you worked with as well. Present power and happy success. Like, I don't know if you might be on top of... Like, I'm getting pulled in two directions. Like, some of you could be on top of your game, be an emperor, have all the nice things, and are genuinely lonely. Only have people that lose them. Lose them or use them. I meant to say use, but lose came out you're not happy like you're you got what you need maybe financially um but not what you need to be satisfied or it could be the other one, way around like you have the solid relationship but your career isn't very good it could be either or that they're expressing here let's clarify what's this present power commitment so this could be signing a contract for a job. This could be marriage. This could be engagement. <coughs> oh my God. My throat is on fire. What happened to the spirit? I made my eyes water. <laughs> or that's just how powerful it's going to hit you. Your throat might close up. Great gratitude, true love. You're going to be... <laughs> they're bringing in a love interest. Like, you're not happy with the one you're with. You want to leave someone... Leave them for someone else. Or this is about to happen. Because they... Um, don't kill the messenger. They know and feel and sense that you are not in a real commitment. And they're bringing forth commitment. If you're single, they're recognizing that you've been single too long. And you want things. And they're going to help you find that love take what resonates to you who the honoring path i heard you're going to restore your name um whether this is in your career publicly with a love interest i think they're going to look at you with respect again if they're not now we have friends and colleagues are going to be stepping up and helping you 
either with your gift, um, starting a business, or helping you get to a love interest, which is the up upstairs helping you in the, in the 3D. And anything else you need to know? Yeah, you're still in decrease lack mentality. This should be priority number one in getting out of that and those feelings. We'll close it out with the awakened soul because this is like draining. It's very hard to read under this moon. I don't know if other tarot readers are struggling. Like my whole body hurts. And I'm just like, <laughs> like the weight of the universe is literally on my back but I did fuck my back up at work so I think my back hurts because of that and my heaviness making me slouch is just making it worse but this moon is like I just want to curl up and sleep <laughs> maybe I'm getting 5D downloads like push you to sleep when they need you to we have simplicity in reverse. You're making things more complicated than they need to be. You're psyching yourself out in your head, they're saying. You really don't have anything to worry about, is what I just heard. And making mountain out of molehills. Mantra. This is center. Find that thing that you need to believe in. This person, I feel like, also had rosary beads or was connected to the Catholic Church in some way. Um, or it could be Protestant as well, but I'm feeling Catholic, not that it really matters, but this is find something to believe in. Faith gets you through is what I'm hearing. Then we have release in reverse. So you're not letting go of what doesn't serve you. You're refusing to end a cycle to go towards something you really want or something that's good for you. Or this is you just not walking away from what doesn't serve you, period, and they're going to make it happen. Because we have shapeshifter in reverse. You're not transforming. You're kind of at the stalemate in your life. You're not progressing. Um, you could be in a downward slide. Or you just could be just in this constant struggle. Nothing is going your way. It's because you're not ending what needs to be released. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to light this car up. There's like literally no street lights, but the moon is so big in front of me. I wish it would illuminate the car a little bit. Alright, so we have silence in reverse. God. Silence in reverse. So they want you to come out of silence and speak your truth. And then we have mirror in reverse. To me, you're not following your intuition. They're calling you out. They've been trying to give you signs and synchronicities and clues. And you're just either ignoring them or just seeing them but not really doing anything. They, I just hear, move. You gotta move. You gotta get up and do something. Like you're in this, I don't have the energy. I'm, I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna pull the blankets over my head and not do anything and they're trying to tug the blankets off you like hey time to get up <laughs> I feel like it's time to go to school energy this could be a parent or someone you went to school with a sibling we have the labyrinth yeah you're just staying stuck you don't want to leave your comfort zone you're not going on a fool's journey and we have family and reverse I feel like your family situation is not happy. There's discontentment in the family and they want you to find your way back to your family. So if you, there's been like a split or divide, especially with the holiday season coming in, they want amends. They want you to come back together. But if you're refusing to change or if you're refusing to take action, that happy family you want isn't going to come into fruition. It really is up to you. You are the decider of your life. They can push you. They can nudge you. But you have to make the action to get the ball rolling. And right now you got your foot on the ball not letting it roll at all. If you will. And we have truth again. Yes. Follow that intuitive truth. Your inner knowing. Stop ignoring it. The spirit says. Tell the truth. That's what I hear. 
And yeah, you're not taking leadership on this change. You're in a stalemate. They're just so upset that you, you've kind of given up. I feel like they weren't trying to motivate you. But at the same time, scold you a little bit. Yeah. You're not desiring the relationship you're in or the job you're in or whatever situation you're in. It's not desirable. It's not cohesive for you and your happiness. We'll get two more. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Action in reverse. Yeah, you're not taking action. This is what they want you to do. Yeah, and you're refusing to heal. You're refusing to face your face your shadow work especially when it comes to any family situation like they know and understand that you guys can't make peace if you don't get out of your ego or your arrogance or and that we all we all do this we all get arrogant we all get cocky especially in family fights or love relationships you know you get in that hurt pride and you put that wall up and and things can get nasty for a bit or can things can get very dark and depressing so they're like telling you this is where you're at and this is what you literally need to work on right now because I think you're always asking how do I do this what do I do show me a sign and they show you a sign and they show you a sign and they show you a sign and you just kind of like flatlined like you hear it you see it but you're still following this mundane un unpassionate thing that you don't want I don't know if that's a job or a person that doesn't fulfill you that drains your energy that makes you feel less or like it's never enough it's like <laughs> they can't do anything until you decide you have to make a decision to either this is enough and I'm going after my passion or uh, the right love or the right job or I'm just gonna mope my whole life and they want you to stop asking until you decide to make a decision because they've I feel like this is a long time coming the spirit loves you very much it's not like they're impatient it's not like they're angry at you but they don't want you to waste your life and I feel like it's been a minute and you've been in this awkward chaos and it's just bad for your health your mental state your life in general and they just want you to move on they just want you to get up and move on from whatever it is that you feel pulled to do so that you can be happy because your happiness is all that they want and you know if you want a certain person or if you want a certain thing and that makes you happy, they're going to 100% support that because it's genuine, but you're not being genuine with what you're in right now. And so they're like, work on that shit lovingly, <laughs> basically. I hope this was helpful. I have to get out of here. This is a different element at night. Not all of my ancestors were nice. <laughs> um, so I will see you all soon and have a good Sunday tomorrow. If I don't do a reading, I have to do chores and stuff. I got uh, one more day before two 12 hour shifts and then I get out at midnight and then I'm going to go make pies with my cousin. So I'm still going to be up rather late. <laughs> anyway, love and light. See you all again soon. Happy turkey day if I don't do another one. Because I am really drained. Like I'm really fucking drained. Like my whole body hurts. That's a little bit scary. <laughs> Not that I don't feel sick though. I just feel like. I just need to sleep. That would be good. And I think that's your energy collective. I think we all need to just. Stay in tonight. Cuddle. Put your PJs on. Watch a movie. Make some popcorn. And do that damn thing in your house where it's safe because this blood moon has a ring of warning around it. Heat it. Stay out of trouble. People be crazy on these full moons. <laughs> Love and light. Stay healthy. Stay protected. Stay in the light. And work on yourself. No more procrastination. I get in that too. I'm a procrastinator at times too. So don't think I'm better than you. But it's time to go, this spirit says. <laughs> Love and light, everyone. See you next time. Bye.